All right, so now we are a lesson three, module five, and we're going to be looking at these two particular style questions right here. Lesson one and question one and question three. These are the two that we're going to be working on. So if you notice, remember before yesterday's lesson, the both parts of the base were not solid. Well, these are both solid, so that means we need this whole base. So what we have to do is we need this base and we need that height right there. Those are the two numbers that we need. Slant side, once again, not needed. So we have area equals base times height divided by two. Why did I use that formula? Because these aren't really numbers that I really want to deal with cutting them in half. But I have to add these two together right now. So we can easily look at that on the side as we just add straight down. So we have nine and four tenths as our base. So we have area equals nine and four tenths times, I think that was a four, four and four tenths divided by two. So we have to take these and it's, it's never a nice thing when there's decimals involved. We just have to deal with it, go slow through the math to make sure we're going to get it right. So when we take this and we go nine and four tenths times four and four tenths, we're going to get 41 and 36 hundredths. And we still have to cut that answer in half. So after we get that answer and we divide it by two, we have area equals 20 and 68 hundredths inches squared. Now, the only thing different from today than yesterday is that the height is going through the shape and we're using the combination of two triangles. So another way that we could do this is we could do three and three tenths times four and four tenths divided by two and get this mini one over here. And then we could do six and one tenth times four and four tenths divided by two get the answer to that side, and then add them together for the whole thing. But I like to take the step is to add the two bases together and just use it, okay? So that's that one. Now, if we look over here, we could do eight by 14 divided by two or half base height, and we could do it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this one and you can see what that looks like. So. I'm going to start this one right up here underneath the screencastify sign. I'm going to use area equals half base times height. And the reason why is because if I just look at this triangle right here, that's half times eight times 14. That's not hard at all. I could take half of eight and use four and get four times 14, or I could take half of 14 and get seven and do seven times eight. It doesn't matter. It's gonna give me the same answer either way. So half of eight is four and four times 14 is 56 meters squared. And now that is just for this one. That's the 56 side. So now I'm gonna do the 16 by 14. So I'm gonna go area equals half base height. Area equals half of 16 times 14. Half of 16 is 8. And we're going to do 8 times 14. Okay. So when we do 8 times 14, we get 112. So we have area equals 112 meters squared. And then we have to take 56 and add it with that. 6, 7, 8, 6, 1, 168 meters squared for that whole thing. Now, I could do it all together and just do 16 and eight. So that's 24, if you're with me there. And I can, I'm gonna write over this shape right now. So I'm gonna go area equals one half base height. Area equals one half of 24 times 14. Half of 24 is 12, 12 times 14. And if I did 12 times 14, 
area equals 168 meters squared anyways. So as you can see, I can either choose to split the two, do this little triangle formula to this little triangle formula and add them up to get the total, or I can add the two bases together times it by the height divided by two and get the same answer. Okay. So now we're not going to use this shape over here. We're, we're going to do this one right here. But what I'm going to do, you're going to need some space on this one. So you're going to use some space over here and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this first one. I know some of you don't like it when things get erased. You're like, where am I going to put it? Well, you'll figure it out. So as you can see, here, this is a square because we have a 12 by 12, right? So we have 12 by 12. So this square is area equals base times height. So area equals 12 times 12. So area equals 144. And that is feet squared. Okay, so feet squared. Okay, so we can put that. I'm going to put that way up here and I'm going to put square. Because I'm going to have to add the square and the two triangles to find this whole trapezoid. So the square is 144 feet squared from the math I did there. I'm just going to erase this feet squared so it's in there. So if you notice, see this? We have a 5 by 12. Now, you see this 13? This is a slant side. We don't need this right now. What we need is the height. And the height is a side of the square. So now we have area equals half base height and area equals half of five times 12. And I'm going to rewrite that a little better. Now, some of you are like, why did you use that formula? It doesn't really matter what formula you could use. You could go base times height divided by two because you know 5 times 12 is 60, and 60 split in half is 30, okay? Or you could go half of 12 and get 5 times 6, which is also 30 feet squared. But when you've got a triangle there, you've got a triangle here, and we got to add up the numbers. So this over here, you could just do times 2, because you have two of them. There's your 60. So we have a 30 triangle. A 144 square and a 30 triangle for 204 feet squared on that whole trapezoid. 30 for the one triangle, 30 for the other, 144 from the middle, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 1, 2. 204 feet squared. Now, remember, sometimes you have to do multiple formulas in it just to get through it. This is a longer lesson today, but as always, sometimes longer lessons means more value. I love math. An April break, even though I'm making videos.